Hello and welcome to my video on basically how to do an Star Retro. Now, as I've said in my video on the, the Boston Xbox, and you're gonna write down one part because I missed up on it. I forgot to add it. Um, let me find it. Um, Ostara is basically around land, the time land begins to bloom and things start growing. As a celebration of the land beginning to bloom and starting growing, as well as a day of equal night and day and celebration of that, as well as celebration of Basically, fertility and birth. Fertility and birth. Now, first I'm going to read to you what the ritual. Then, I'm actually going to perform it from the camera. I mean, decorate your altar with symbols of season to and for fertility, like eggs or baby animals, which I'm not putting on. Which I didn't add to my altar. As well as one yellow candle, one purple candle, and one green candle. I'm substituting white for purple because I don't have purple right now. And a bowl of milk, and a, as well as a bowl of sugar. I'm not using either of those right now. If possible, perform this ritual outside. It's going to be indoors that I'm doing. <clears throat> Begin by taking a moment to focus on the air around you. Inhale deeply as you and see if you can smell the change in the seasons deepening depending on where you live the air may have an earthy aroma or rainy one or smell like grass since the shift in energy as the will of the year has turned light the can the green candle to symbolize the blooming earth as you do light as you light it Say the wheel of the year turns once more, and the vernal equinox arrives. Light and dark are equal, and the soil begins to change. Earth awakens from its slumber, and new life springs forth once more. Now I know this. That I'm doing this a little late, 19 days late to be exact. But oh, anyway, next light the yellow candle, representing the sun and. As you do say, the sun draws ever closer to us, greeting the earth with its mellowing, welcoming rays. Light and dark are equal, and the sky fills with light and warmth. The sun, man, been, and earth beneath our feet and gives life to all in its path. Now before I go on, let me just say this. Um, I'm kind of sensitive to bright lights and sunlight. So this is but I still still but the sun still like gives life to plants because plants and stuff do need sun to survive. <clears throat> Anyways where was it? Okay. Finally, light the purple candle. In my case, a white candle. I don't have purple one. This one represents the divine. As you light this candle, say, Spring has come. For this, we are thankful. The gods and goddesses are present all around in the cool fall of a rainstorm in the tiny buds of a flower. In the dawn of a newborn chick, in the fertile fields, waiting to be planted in the sky above and the earth below us, we thank gods and goddesses for all they have to offer us, and we are blessed to be alive on this day. Welcome means welcome spring. <clears throat> And then, if you want, um, 
meditate on the flames as on um how you fit into the grand scheme of things and find balance between light and dark. And if you're using milk and sugar, blend them together and pour them onto the earth as an offering as you do say, I give this offering to you. Anyways, um so yeah. Now I'm gonna actually perform this ritual for all of you to see. So if I take you off my um Jacket, putting on my cloak. No, no. You know, this is a bit, um, this ritual. Basically, I'm gonna do it. Like my regular can. Circle is open but never broken. The wheel of the year has turned once more, and the vernal equinox arrives. Light and dark are equal, and the soil begins to change. The earth awakens from its slumber, and new life springs forth once more. The sun draws ever closer to us, green the earth with its welcoming rays. With its welcoming rays. Mm. Light and dark are equal, and the sky fills with light and warmth. The sun warms the land beneath our feet and gives life to most in its path. Spring has come. For this we are thankful. The, div the gods and goddesses are present. All around in the cool fall of a rainstorm, in the tiny buds of a flower, in the dawn of a newborn chick, in the fertile fields waiting to be planted, in the sky above us and the earth below us. We thank the universe for all it has to offer, and we are blessed to be alive on this day. Welcome spring.
circle is open yet never broken. Well, thank you for watching my video on an Ostara ritual with me and have a nice day.